Roosevelt family. James, his wife, the president's mother, the first lady, the president, John, Mrs. Curtis Dahl, and Franklin D. Jr. leave the White House for the first time to attend church. The whole group went to the Protestant Episcopal Church of St. Thomas, where the president was a vestryman while assistant secretary of the Navy under Wilson. When he arrived there, he renewed the association, which had proved an inspiration to him. After the communion service, the president left with his eldest son, James, returning to the White House to act on the nation's financial crisis. Then came a sad duty, attending the funeral of Senator Walsh of Montana at the Capitol. The widowed bride, Mrs. Walsh, supported by the senator's brother and her son, was visibly affected by the final tribute paid to her husband by the president and nation. Immediately after the services, the president left the Capitol with Mrs. Roosevelt, to turn once more to the solution of the country's problems as the people look to him for leadership. <laughs>